Hello everyone. Just wanted to come on real quick. I'm not going to do a project, but I wanted to show you something that I worked on. Um, so before, in the first video, I kind of showed everything that I did. And this is something that I tried out. Um, I was testing to see how it would work out. Um, and I like it. <laughs> I think it turned out well. I do have to work on it a little bit. Uh, well, work on my technique a little bit because it's a little bit like um, lumpy. It's not as refined as I would like it to be. Um, but I like how it turned out. I like this one a lot, the BTS logo one. This one's okay, but I put a little too much of the, the, um, the speckles in there. I like it a little bit more sparse. But anyway, um, the method that I used to make it was similar to what I've been showing you guys with the mold, doing it in, in very thin layers. So I kind of figured I don't need to show you how to do that again. Um, but it's the same method. I put down a layer and then I put down, uh, I cured it. Then I put down another layer, put in one layer of flowers. I cured it. Then I put in another layer of flowers. Um, cured that and then I added some gold specks and then I cured it and then I domed everything um, but what I didn't show you is how to make how I made this uh, the gold the metal rim for the the army logo um, and the BTS logo I mean so I'll kind of explain that how I made the wire frame um, but I want to show you you know, I was having problem with the mold with this one, right? Um, I put this in the plastic mold, no, the silicone mold, um, and it turned out okay, except it was it kind of bent a little bit. And I was thinking it didn't do that when I was working on something else. What was I working on? I don't remember, but it didn't do that. This this um, resin is the same one as the first one that I used that like it bent a lot. So I was thinking it didn't bend with this one, but it bent when it was by itself. So maybe it needs something on the edge um, to prevent it from from bending. And so what I decided to do was try making this, but instead of in the mold, make it um, just to put a frame around it. So that's what I did here. This one was the first one I, one I tried. So I took a picture, I laminated it, cut it out, and I actually taped on a little um, BTS logo and I put holographic paper, laminated, no, holographic laminating paper on the back of it. So you can see how it sparkles in the back. That I put right on top of the logo. Um, and then what I did was I used tape. I mentioned, I mentioned in my first video that I had bought this, this is resin, UV resin tape. And it's pretty, it's tacky. It's very sticky. It's not super, super sticky, but it is um, pretty tacky. And I made this wire frame and I stuck it on the sticky side of the tape. And then you pour the resin in there and what it does is it holds the mold in place so it doesn't move. Um, so I stuck it on there and then I put a layer of clear. Um, then I put in the flowers upside down. And then put another layer of resin and then I did the leaves. So, I, you know, they were in layers and then I um, put a layer of resin and then I put the little silver speckles. And then I put in this picture. And then I put another layer on top of the picture and then dome it off. I didn't dome it yet, but yeah, just finish it off that way. And then with the loop, I cut a little bit of the wire. Um, and I have tools. I have wire bending tools, but you can use like a, if you have like a, a fine pencil, see, like a fine pencil, something st thinner, like um, maybe a, a wooden dowel stick or something. Ooh, this would work. <laughs> if you have a nail tool, <laughs> there it's round. Like right here, it's round. So you can use this and just with your fingers. This is pretty uh, moldable. I got this off of Amazon. 
um, it is three millimeter wide or something like that and it's it's quite malleable it, it bends really well so you can just sort of put it on here and use your fingers and uh, force it around to make like a little loop and then you would use wire cutters and just cut it uh, so that's what I did and you lay this also on the tape right up against your the top of the frame and you take a little tiny bit of resin so I use my little silicone resin tool I use my tool put a little bit of resin on the tip and just sort of like dab it and I would just do this side first put a little bit of resin on the top cure it and then I pick up the whole thing turn it around add resin here cure it add resin to the inside as well as here to make sure that it's all sealed and glued down well with the resin um yeah and so it did not bend at all <laughs> it stayed straight so after i did this one i thought i would do another one I could test it out because again this one the first one i did it turned out fine and the second one it bent so i thought i would do another one and so i did one with um sequins see i like it <laughs> isn't he pretty <laughs> so what i did with this it's similar to what i did with this one um except instead of the glitter i use sequins and so the other day i was at walmart and i bought these two glitters it's like a fuchsia pinky purple and a blue yeah very pretty it's chunky glitter and it also has fine glitter so it, it's a mix the fine glitter, it kind of gets stuck on the bottom. Um, so you need to use like a spoon or something to scoop it out. But I mix this into the resin, into one of my little cups of resin. And I made it pretty thick. So I made a very thick, like make a thin layer that is dense with the glitter. UV resin that. Again, I put it on the tape. So I would put in a layer and then cure it. Um, and I did two layers of that. I, I stuck in a little cookie sticker. <laughs> Can you see? Um, and then I put his picture down and a layer of resin. Um, and then I put one layer of like these. I don't know. Can you see? There's like hearts and little four leaf clovers and stars. Um, yeah, so I have these like little shapes. They, these are in purple and blue and pink. So I put a few of those down, um, kind of closer to the center. And before I cured it, I put in a little bit more of this sequence. I used the tool. Where did I put my tool? I used my tool. Ah! Um, and I picked up the, the glitter on the tip of my tool. And I kind of dropped it into place. So I kind of, you know, moved everything where I wanted it to be. And because there was already resin, uncured resin in here, the glitter just sort of sank into place and it was you can move it around to where you want it to be. Um, I wanted it to cover the edges a little bit, um, but I didn't want it to cover the picture too much. So you can use your tool. So put in the clear resin in the middle first, and then you can drop in, um, you know, the glittered or sequenced um, resin or along the sides and it will blend a little bit but because this part is clear it won't overlap as much so put the clear in the middle first and then use your glitter or whatever your mixed um, resin on the edges and so that's what I did um, then I domed it off and I put the little the hook so yeah that's how this one turned out is that too close this is how this turned out um, and so how, how to do that? Like I said, this, uh, this wire is very bendable and you can, you can really just sort of bend it with your hands. Uh, but it's really hard to make angles, good angles. And so I have tools. It is... I have wire making tools so this is the tool that I use to curl 
to do that. I use the widest part. Um, I have wire cutters. Okay. And then I have this thing, pliers. It's a flat nose plier, I think. A wide, wide flat nose plier. So it's flat all the way to the end and it's wide at the tip. Oh, out of, I'm out of picture. Okay, so yeah, it's flat and wide and it clamps all the way to the end. And so what I do is um, you can use a ruler to measure, but I'm really lazy. So I just sort of eyeball it. This one, I was the first one and it didn't, it didn't turn out as nicely. So what I do is what I figured out was the best way for me is to go a little more than half. So like, you know, go a little more than half right where you want it to bend. Take your pliers. <laughs> this is my lazy way. If you want to, if you have a Sharpie or something, you can mark it. But my lazy way is I go up to the edge of the picture where I want it to be and then I put my pliers. And then make sure that your pliers are straight, you know, relatively up and down. Then use your fingers and just bend it over. Like that. Then you just have to straighten this out a little bit. So you put that here where you want it to be like the edge of that. And then do the same thing. Put your pliers on the edge, the corner where you want it to be. Make sure it's pretty straight and then fold. <laughs> and then you do it all the way around and what you end up with will be somewhat of a rectangle if you do want it to be perfect i do recommend that you measure things out and you fold it on the measure on your measurement um but i'm yeah sometimes i'm very anal about certain things but then i'm i'm not about others it's really weird some people, yeah, some people think I'm weird in that way, <laughs> and I am. Okay, so then what happens is it like overlaps, right? And this is where a ruler comes in handy. You can measure from both sides where it's um, even, but again, I'm too lazy. So I just put my plier cutters where I think it's about like in the middle, and I just cut both of them together. And then... <laughs> You get this. <laughs> and sometimes, I don't know, can you see? Um, the wire isn't very straight. So then I just use this thing. Um, this one does not have any ridges. Uh, there's other ones that if you look at it, it has, it has like lumps. It's, it has ridges in it. That one, if this is malleable, so if you use that to do this, you're going to end up with marks on, your, on the edge of your metal. So you want to make sure that it has it's completely flat and has no ridges, um, no teeth or anything. And then I just take that and I just sort of squish it. And this strains it out pretty well. Um, what else is there? Yeah, you can use this to kind of help uh, mold your your wire to where you want it to be. I think, I think this side is higher than this side. If that's the case, if you don't like where it was folded, you can straighten it out. It's not going to come back perfectly, sadly. And then refold it underneath. Yeah. And you will have like a little mark or a lump where it was, but then it'll look better. And then you just have to cut that off. Cut the excess off. Like that and this thing this little loop that you made that I made <laughs> you want it to have a little bit of a straight part and a loop and depending how big you want it to be you can just cut it and if you want to you can make it a full loop like mine this one's not a full loop the one I just made I'll show you in a minute Okay, so if you look at this one, this one is just a U, right? And it would just go like this. But for like this one, I made a full circle. This one also, it's like almost a full circle. So you can do it this way, or you can use, you know, your tool or whatever, and, you know, make it a smaller circle and make it, you know, closed. Make it more more like a full circle or 
almost a full circle depending on your piece like this one works fine for this because it's a straight edge it'll just go straight edge against straight edge if you wanted to make it a circle you can make it a circle and put a circle on top of here that's totally up to you um but yeah so again i found this wire on amazon they're not terribly expensive um and as you can see you can i made three these are three and i still have a lot left so you can make quite a few of these um yeah and with the chunky chunky glitter i like this i like how this looks i think i might get more i think i want to get purple not purple orange and yellow orange and yellow right orange and yellow and then make make some with the butter pictures you know when they're wearing the orange and yellow clothes <laughs> um for permission and permission to dance and maybe dynamite but yeah okay i just wanted to show you that because i think it's cool <laughs> to be able to buy this wire and then mold it into whatever you want it to be oh so how did i make this um i printed out a picture so i, I printed out the logo but i printed out a little bit bigger than this one and i just lined up my wire I eyeballed everything. I lined up my wire along the black and then right where the edge of the the um, corners are, I folded it using my tool and I went all the way around. Yeah, so that's how I did it. If you want to, the better way, of course, is to measure, <laughs> measure everything and then mark your wire with a black marker or something, pencil, not pencil, but like a Sharpie marker, just mark it. Um, and then bend it on the mark and that would make it more exact but again i i'm too lazy to be that exact and it turned out okay so i'm happy with it and this one i actually used this image to make this one but i i did this side first and then i did this side <laughs> yeah it's one wire that goes from the middle down then around the edge and then back up the middle yeah I decided to f have the fold at the bottom and the two ends on the top but if you wanted to you could do it backwards and start here and go this way and uh, have the ends come down here alrighty well yeah <laughs> if you uh, if you get into making things out of resin this is something definitely that I think would be fun to give a try um, and if you try, yeah, please share. I'd love to see your creations. Okay, thank you. Bye.